Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Load View Quick Start Guide. The purposes of this tutorial is to take you through how to set up and run a Load View test. First off, if you're planning to conduct a transactional load test, please make sure you check out our Every Step Quick Start Guide to create your script and upload it to the .com Monitor account. Assuming we've already done that, the first thing that we want to do is name our scenario. Make sure we give it a unique name, that way if we have to run multiple tests, we have a good naming convention already in place. The next tab down is our task list here. This will show the tasks that you created in the Every Step scripting tool. From here we'll also see our user behavior. User behavior is important to make sure that it aligns with the requirements of your test. As you see, we have the options of setting up a standard delay, which most closely mimics a true user experience, or you can go even deeper to customize these delays as you see fit. The type of customization is essential to creating the perfect scenario for testing. The next thing we want to do here is create our execution plan. At this step, we have a lot of freedom on what we want to do. So we can create any type of execution plan that you want. And if you're not sure about what you need to do for your execution plan, please make sure you reach out to one of our account representatives who will help take you through this process. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to start with 10 users. We'll raise by one user every minute for 10 minutes. We can also additionally raise by, let's say, another 100 users here at the last 10 minutes. So from here what we want to do is take a look at our zone configuration. Our LoadView platform allows you to mimic user traffic from regions across the world or across the US. For example, if 70% of your users come from the East Coast and the rest of your users come from all over America, what we can do here is set it up so that 70% of our load will come from the East Coast. You can very, very easily set these zones to match what your current user traffic looks like. The next thing that we want to do is calibrate our script. Calibrating the script will run the script on one of our test servers to give us a recommendation of how many users we should spin up per load injector. Doing this takes all the guesswork and calculations out of how many resources are needed per user. So now let's take a quick look at our reports. The first thing that I want to note here about these reports is we can download this report to share it internally as well as downloading the raw data into a CSV file which will allow us to massage that data. Now if we look at this first summary tab here, we can look at our execution plan, average response times, and errors that occur while testing our scenario. On this first chart, what we're going to see here is the expected number of users based upon our execution plan versus the actual number of users that came through during the test. Now if we see a large difference in these two here, we can already tell that there was an issue the next tab that we have here is our average response time. Depending upon the requirements of your test, this response time should stay within the thresholds that you determine before executing the test. If the response times increase rapidly as the number of users grow, it is safe to say that your application will need more resources to handle such a large load. We can then take a look at the total number of sessions started and the number of errors that occurred during the execution of your load testing scenario. And the last chart here shows the load injector server load. What this will do is give us an accurate representation of how the script is performing in different regions of the world and how that then affects the performance of the load injector server that's running this test. From any of these tabs here, we can select a plot point which will give us more information. From here, we can see every session that was ran during that particular moment of the test. We can click on details here to get an even more detailed view and a breakdown of every single element that loaded on that page during that particular session. 
to make it very, very brief here, that in essence is the load view testing platform. Now obviously, this is just a very quick walkthrough and we are only beginning to scratch the surface regarding the capabilities of this platform and of its reporting features. As always, if you have any questions or would like to try a load test for yourself, please reach out to one of our account representatives.